So right next door to the Papo Art Center is a music school. And this is a music school that they specialize for all ages and they teach uh, people how to play the bamboo. So I can hear them practicing now. So we're gonna try to walk in there and see what we can do. And Mansar's with me now. So we got Mansar and Granite to see if we can't just sort of spontaneously uh, listen to them playing. And here's the name of the group. It's uh, Man Kaban. And they've gotten what started as a small little project just turned into a big, huge community. And again, a music school of sorts. And anytime there is any sort of big ceremony in the village, this group will come and perform or they'll do stages uh, right here and little classes right here. But I can hear them practicing. Let's go see if we can uh, see what they're up to. Sounds really great. So it looks like practice just ended and again I'm seeing uh, mostly girls so maybe this is the girls choir uh, but a variety of ages again as young as maybe five six seven and certainly uh, teenagers as well but yeah very cool and uh, a whole a whole bunch of them and these are all girls I believe from the village down the way and this is something that when they perform for a group they'd be dressed in kind of their full regalia and traditional popular clothing so uh, yeah, pretty cool to see you. And again, staying next door, you can hear this music kind of all throughout the day. And uh, yeah, it's really beautiful. So this is so exciting. We just got word that the Mancabar group that I visited earlier, so in your eyes just seconds ago, but for me, this was two days ago that we were here checking out the group and seeing them practice. Uh, they are all dressed up in their full uh, costumes and traditional Papua outfits, and they are gonna put on a show specifically for us, and that is so heartwarming. So I'm very excited. We're gonna walk back and sort of see uh, what's going on. Uh, we just got the invitation to come over, so here we go. We'll see what it's all about. The fact that they're doing this all for us is just fantastic. Really, really a nice, nice gesture uh, on behalf of all the students here. And that was simply because I was here the other day and I took interest and um, here we are just a few days later uh, with a show. So just before the show, there's always time for a little pre-show photo op opportunity. <laughs> All right, so what's so cool? It looks like the show's about to start, and a bunch of elders from the village have come out. We've got crowds kind of on both sides, and the show's just about to start. <laughs>
songs now. And what I have learned is the backstory of this place is quite amazing. What started out as just a couple of kids and one man's love for music has really blossomed into this. Oh, we're getting started. Was just incredible. I love the fact that they turned it into a interactive dance and we actually got to join the dance number and everyone had a good time laughing at uh, us and not knowing the right moves and it was just a good time and again this is just right next door to where we're staying from the Papua Art Center so it's an incredible opportunity uh, just to really be right here in the local culture and all of these students are from the village. And it started as a very small family uh, band. They had one little drum. And over the course of many years, through the love of music, all the children have been brought in and they're all part of this music school. And uh, it is fantastic. There's so many instruments. And we'll take a close look at those in just a minute. Let's go do a couple of photos. So they've invited uh, Cedar and Granite to come in and play their instruments. So teach us some of the beats. And these are flip flops, actually. I thought they were uh, mallets, but it looks like they're just uh, yeah converted flip flops. So again, recycling just materials that are around, and they have all their paddles with the flip flops. How long has the music school been going on? <laughs> from 2018. Oh wow, so kind of a new school yeah, relatively. And how many students uh, has he seen over the course of those couple of years? So there are lots of students that come in or just a few? Yeah, man, kalau waktu itu alat musik ini kan baru baru cuma hanya satu. Karena lewat perkembangan akhirnya jadi lima dan waktu itu cuma anak-anak cuma hanya mungkin cuma hanya lima orang yang sekarang dalam sanggar ini kan sudah lima puluh tujuh orang. So in the beginning it's like it's just a family thing, you know, they perform like this and that. It's like a family, just it's just five of them, and then they start it and then like yeah they get more and more recognized. They get support also from uh, uh, the government. Okay. So now it's there like uh, with the 57 children. Wow. In the wow. Um, so in just a few short years, you've gone from a small family of yeah. five to a big group of over 50, 57 students. That's incredible in just a few years. Well, it definitely sounds beautiful. And I want to thank uh, Pak for uh, letting us come and, and, and listen and enjoy his music. Yeah, yeah, Teramakashi, Teramakashi.
Thank you, Pop. Thank you. All right, very good. This is fantastic. We get a bonus song from Pop Isak Borum. Uh, and their group called Mankobon. Mankobon. And this is just the family. They're going to do one more special number with just him, his sons, his daughters, as a, uh, a, a gift to us. And it's, it's great. I'm so happy to be here. Just amazing, a, a completely bonus song with Pac and his immediate family who are the original five. And over the course of just a few years, it has blossomed into an amazing group of over 50 students. I really hope you have an opportunity to catch these guys live. Uh, thank you so much and we will see you in the next episode. Yeah.